Hey there guys, I'm super excited to have you with me here today. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Simeon Kristoff and I'm currently taking a 30 day fitness challenge. Today marks day number 28 of the challenge, which is gonna be a cardio workout. Uh, and we're gonna do a high intensity interval session today. So for those of you who are following the challenge, stay tuned. And if you've just stumbled upon this video, if you're someone new to the channel, there's a link down in the description below, which will take you to day one of the challenge. Uh, so you can get started from the very beginning and reach up to this point where we're currently at. So yeah, see you guys in a little bit to share with you what's the workout gonna be today. All right, folks, so the prescribed workout from the plan today is to find a staircase and do 15 to 20 minute heat session where you go up the stairs as fast as you can and then walk back to the very beginning and then repeat for 8 to 12 times until you hit the 20 minute mark. Uh, but I figured out that not everybody might have access to staircases. So what I'm gonna do instead is just go in the park and do a uh, walk sprint session, meaning that I'll go switching between fast paced intervals while I'll go all in for 30 seconds of uh, running as fast as I can and then switch back to 30 seconds where I'm gonna be walking or just like slide jaw. So I'm gonna repeat this 15 times. So it's gonna be 30 seconds fast, 30 seconds slow, 15 times for total of 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna jog for another 10 minutes just to catch my breath and relax a bit. I'm gonna do a cool down session afterwards, which I'm go guys gonna show you. I'm not gonna take you through the uh, running session because uh, it's crowded really crowded in the park so I have nobody with me filming today so I have to leave the camera and I don't really want to do that so just take my word for it I'm gonna do the jog just like I said and yeah that's pretty much gonna be the workout see you in a bit for the cool down session all right folks now I'm done with the workout so I'm gonna start with the cool down session and I'm gonna walk you through I'm not gonna do a voiceover this time but I'm rather I'm gonna show you what I usually do and I like to start from my legs up. So I stretch my calves first, because they tend to feel quite tight from the jog. So just try to find a place where you can lean down towards and place your foot higher, place your toes higher, and then lean forward towards it. Push the hips as far forward as you can. Push the hip and just hold for 15 to 20 seconds. And then switch legs. And then next on the list you try to lean on a on a wall or just a piece of equipment like I have here. But just lean towards it. Place your left leg backwards. Put all the tension on the right leg for now. And just lean forward. Put all the pressure on your heel. So try to not lift your heel off the ground. So we're gonna feel the stretch right in this area here. Try to go as low as you can. You might not be as flexible at the beginning, but you work your way up. So start with what you can, then switch legs and do this uh, a couple of times until you get nice and loose. I'm gonna do it only once and I'll shut the camera off and then do it once again for the sake of keeping the video short for you guys. Now next I like to stretch my quads and what you can usually do is grab a hold of your leg, keeping the chest up, just pull as far back as you can, you'll feel the stretch all the way here starting from the hips all the way to the quads. So do this for both legs. Try not to lean forward. As you do it I see this quite often, people would lean forward as they pull. Just try to keep your body upright, keep the core tight and just pull as far back as you can. This is really essential guys. Uh, because this is the only way you can effectively target the hips and stretch them because they're really tight from sitting all day long you just want to work the work them so this will allow a full range of motion on the uh, walking lunges the alternating lunges that we do also on the squats so legs. if you find something like this in a park where you have access to one you can place your leg on top 
and just stretch like so as well. So try to lean as far back as you can here. Just to hold the stretch here. It's quite painful to be honest. Just hold, hold for a couple of seconds each leg. We get the legs nice and loose. And then I'm moving on to the hamstring. So what I like to do is position my foot higher, elevated. I start with a both hip height, so if that's your hip, try to position your foot a little bit higher and just lean towards it. Just lean towards it, hold for a couple of seconds. And then switch legs again. Once you finish with this, what you can do for the hamstring as well, it cross your both of your legs and lean forward, pushing the hips back. So you don't want to round your back here, keep the back completely flat and reach for your toes here. I don't know if you can see from this angle, I'll move a little bit backwards so I can see better. Yeah, lean. Forward. Now next, I like to stretch my glutes and how you do that it's a little tiny muscle that's called the piriformis and it's a little tight spot that if you spend a lot of time during the day sitting will be really tight so what you can do is uh, put your left leg on top of so you want to position like uh, your ankle uh, just above your kneecap on the right leg and just squat down hold yourself to something and then press the knee on your left leg and hold there for 15 to 20 seconds you're really gonna feel the stretch all the way here. It's gonna be quite painful at first, but once you get it out of the way, we're gonna feel so much better. And then we switch legs. I don't know how this is gonna work. Another thing that I'm not doing at the moment, but you should, because obviously I'm speaking in front of the camera, uh, try to relax as you stretch, make sure you breathe so you relax the muscles completely and that's the only way you can actually get some blood flowing in there because if you're really tight, if you hold your breath, uh, you cannot properly relax the muscles and that's our goal with the stretching. So next I'll move on to the core and what I like to do here is just loosen up, just open up a bit. just hold for a quick second, you'll feel the stretch here in this area, the side portion of your oblique. And then raise your right arm up, feet shoulder width apart, chest up, and then reach to the side. Do five to six of those, if you get nice and loose here. And then I'm gonna stretch the chest a little bit, the back a little bit because they were a bit sore from yesterday. And that's gonna conclude pretty much today's cool down session and workout. And see you guys tomorrow for day 29 of the 30 day fit challenge. We're coming to an end now guys, so I'm really excited. Hope you are too. So see you again tomorrow.